Um, this is from the same producer. This is Masun Manu's uh, Zalui, Zalulu, Zalulu, Louis, Lulu. I don't even know what it is. I, I don't even know. Um, but it's Isola de Nuragi. It's an IGT rosé. It's made from Cananao and Boval uh, grapes. So Cananao, actually, for those who don't know, even though it's a Sardinian grape, Cananao is, an, is the Italian name for Grenache. So it's made from Grenache and Boval, which is um, a native grape to Sardinia. It's made on um, like a granite sand. Uh, it's very rich in iron, this sand. So I'm, I'm looking forward and, and it's got it's a clay component. component. But having that clay component, what does that mean? It's going to be super small yield. Those grapes have to work so hard to get nutrients, right? Um, so to put in perspective, um, only 50 tonnes to the hectare. And that, you know, so think about it, like 10 tonnes of grapes will make probably 600 dozen wines. So it's not very much. So they make 50 tonnes per hectare, 10 tonnes will make six, 600 dozen wines. So yeah, you work that out because I'm really bad at math. But um, how do they make it? So uh, hopefully you remember from our rosé tasting uh, that we did, that we are doing this in the maceration method. So they leave the grapes on skins for about six hours um, in controlled temperatures. So then we have it for at least three months of aging on leaves and one month in the bottle before it releases. So you get this like beautiful, brilliant onion skin color, which is very, I find that this kind of color is very popular in Italy, uh, this onion skin kind of color. Uh, but let's have a look at it. Oh, so perfumed, red fruits, like raspberries and cherries on the nose. Oh, definitely strawberry as well. Like strawberries, raspberries, a little bit of cherry, but very floral, uh, like white flowers, um, even roses. There's a little bit of rose petal in there as well. Let's have a look. Let's give it a whirl. Oh, super fresh and delicate. Okay, that's what we call dangerous. Mm -hmm. So it's slightly fruity. It's got really nice residual sugar, like um, residual fruit sweetness, but it's not sweet, it's very dry. But it's very fresh, very delicate. The acidity um, is very soft as well. Mm, I would say, mm, delicious. It, it's very different. If you're very used to the Provence style of rosé, this has got a lot more body to it. Um, softer acidity to the Provence style. So great for aperitifs. I would have it with sushi, with some shellfish, with some raw fish that, you know, that's kind of what I would be having with this because there is that little bit of residual um, sweetness to it. So I think it'll really cut through anything that you have that's quite fatty. But yeah, so that's our little rosé.